Good morning, everybody. My name is Molly Miller, and I'm an outside recruitment manage manager from Girl Scouts Carolina's Peace to Piedmont. And this morning, I am coming to you live from my kitchen. Um, you all may know me as Scientist Molly, but this morning I am Scientist Molly, uh, joining you from my kitchen instead of outside, like I said. Um, so this morning we are going to be learning how to grow crystals. Ooh, doesn't that sound exciting? So as I said, I am an outside recruitment manager for Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont. We serve 40 counties in North Carolina, from the central to the western part of North Carolina. Not sure you can hear me. Uh-oh, let me fix that real quick. Oh, we're gonna move real quick. Oop, all right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, we're real close to my face. Checking my settings to make sure you guys can hear. All right, let's try that again. All right, there we go. Can you hear me now, Mindy? Hi, Amanda. Turn my screen. Is my screen being silly too? Is that better, Miss Amanda? Is that better, Miss Amanda? I hope it is. I'm just having all kinds of technical difficulties this morning. Oh, all right, well, we're gonna try this again. Let's get started. All right, so we serve 40 counties in North Carolina from the central to the western part of the county, uh, the state, excuse me. And this morning, we are growing crystals. Oh no, you can hear me, but now I'm sideways? Oh my goodness, I just can't win. Ugh, all right, we're trying again. Okay, how about now? Am I not sideways now? No, no, it says to rotate my phone. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, so let's get started. <laughs> what we need to grow crystals. <laughs> so, we are gonna grow crystals in borax. So the first thing we need is pipe cleaners. And I have these festive 4th of July pipe cleaners. Yay, because that's our next big holiday coming up. And mine are sparkly, I don't know if you guys can see that. But they're sparkly. So we're gonna take our pipe cleaners and we're gonna twist them into a fun shape. And as I learned, because I tested this out already, because sometimes as a good scientist, you have to test your experiment a few times. We want to Make a shape that is very tight. So if you don't make a very tight shape with your pipe cleaners, the crystals will grow in between the cracks. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna twist mine up into just a tight little curl, just like this. So I'm curling up my pipe cleaner into a tight little shape. Doop -a doo curly the pipe cleaner. Curly, curly, curly. Okay, so just like that. You see my nice tight little shape? So no crystals, well, beside my center, but that's okay. No crystals will get in between the parts of my pipe cleaner. So the next thing you're gonna need is thread or string. So I have some thread here, this is sewing thread out of my sewing kit. Can any of you guys sew? I learned to sew in Girl Scouts because there's a badge all about that. And you cut a length and you're gonna tie it to your pipe cleaner. Just like this, okay? So the next thing you're gonna need is a skewer like you make sish kebabs with or a dowel rod or for me, I had some bamboo and I use my bamboo to stake up my plants in the backyard. Some of you guys might actually have this growing in your backyard. It's very popular in North Carolina and you're going to take your bamboo and what you're going to want is you're going to want a glass or something that is heat safe. Okay so this is a glass and I know I can pour hot water in it and what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna measure my string. I'm gonna do this a little closer so you guys can see. And I wanna see how far down I wanna put it. And another thing I learned, very important, the further down you can get your pipe cleaner to the bottom of your glass without it being stuck on the bottom, the more crystals you're gonna grow, okay? So the crystals grow better towards the bottom. So I measure how far down it needs to be, and then I'm gonna take the rest of my string, and I'm just gonna wrap it around whatever my rod is that's gonna hold around my top of my glass. Whether that is your skewer, your bamboo stick, your extra butter knife, whatever it is you're using. And another little hack I found was I had some clothespins laying around. So I just grabbed my friendly little clothespin, I clipped it around, and it was there. You could also just knot it on, that's good too. So then I just dropped it in. And if you can, you really don't want it to touch the bottom because I found out the hard way they'll stick to the bottom. So if you can find a way to just wrap it one more time, there we go. So this is not touching the bottom, okay? So we've got it all set up, so you guys can see. My pipe cleaner's in there, hanging out in my glass, ready for our solution. So here comes the science part. Now, if you're gonna do more than one, you wanna keep doing that, okay? So I would do my other two, make them into their fun shapes, tie them up, as you see I've done, and they get them prepped in their glasses. So as I have three ready, and I'm doing three, next thing you're gonna need is some really hot water. So here's my pot where I've boiled my hot water and our magical ingredient for the day, borax. Do you guys know what borax is? It's a detergent booster. So it's probably something you might be able to find in your house that mom or dad may have for you, or aunt or uncle or whoever your parent or guardian is. Or it's something you can very easily find at Walmart or wherever you shop for your groceries and stuff. So for every one cup of water, we need three tablespoons. And as you guys remember, tablespoons is the one that says TBSP of borax. So I have three cups of water in here because I have three crystals ready to grow. So I'm gonna add, so what's three times three? Nine tablespoons of borax. So let's get to counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as the count on Sesame would Street would say, ah, 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 nine tablespoons of borax. So now what I want to do is make sure this is stirred up really, really well. So while I'm stirring, I wanna to talk to you guys about some stuff. And that stuff includes some awesome opportunities we have going on right now. So if you are not currently a Girl Scout, we have some wonderful virtual troops happening and you can check those out at www.beagirlscout.org. And join a virtual Girl Scout troop and learn to do all kinds of amazing things like we've been doing on our lives. Speaking of lives, you can join our lives Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. We also have awesome virtual badge programs running for you currently registered Girl Scouts, and we are doing virtual summer camp this year. So don't be too disappointed. Camp has not been canceled. Girl Scouts has not been canceled. We haven't gone anywhere. So make sure you check our programs out at www.camplikeagirl.org. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure this is all mixed up it's gonna look kind of cloudy, but you just wanna make sure you don't feel any of the borax on the bottom, okay? All right, so once you've got it all mixed up, we're gonna measure out our first cup. So we want one cup, pour it in, one cup, and we're gonna pour it in our glass. 
And as you guys can see, it does look kind of cloudy, kind of murky. That's okay. You wanted to do that. And now this needs to sit overnight, okay? Well, hello from Puerto Rico. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. All right, so now we're gonna let this sit overnight and our crystals are grow. So I'm just gonna put this aside. But now I wouldn't be a good scientist if I hadn't prepped this for you guys already. So would you like to see what happens when you let this grow overnight? Give me a heart or a like if you'd like to see what happens. Do you guys wanna see? Come on, somebody give me a heart or a like. I don't see any yet. There we go, okay. All right, so you guys ready? Here's what happens when you grow your crystals. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's what happens. So that's a silver one that I did. And here's a red pipe cleaner. This one grew big, look at that. Look at all those crystals, isn't that cool? And I think these are my favorite. Here's two of the blue ones. Look at all those crystals, guys. And you can do this at home too. So, I want you guys to try this out. Grow some of your own crystals and then post pictures in the comments on this video, okay? Because I'd love to see how your crystals grow. Well, that's it. Have fun crystal growing, guys. This has been it for me, Scientist Molly. I hope you all have a wonderful day and don't forget to join us tonight at seven for our other live. Thank you so much to my friend and coworker Amanda for being my chat box, chat box buddy. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. Um, if you have any questions about joining one of our awesome troops or about camp or anything like that, feel free to drop a comment don't forget to post those awesome pictures of your crystals. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.